It is time for part two of this ridiculously long venture. I, I, I don't want this to take 16 years, but I feel like it's going to anyway. So this is plan B of getting XP on the MacBook. So I have a nice surprise for you. Are you ready for this? This was achieved on an iMac 2006 Core Duo running pretty much exactly the same hardware as the MacBook using the same Windows XP CD, DVD, I, I think it's a, I, I don't even know what it is. However, look, I was able to install it, install bootcamp drivers, everything. Same disc, same specs, everything down to the RAM is the same. Now I understand the CPU might be a little bit different. However, they're both core duos. They both can theoretically run the same software. So I have an idea. I think a lot of the issue was down to the disk drive because this thing hung for about 18 hours. So this thing hung for about, you know, 30 minutes but to about 30 hours, didn't do anything and then said there was an error reading a file. I think that was to do with the disk drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a big brain maneuver here. I am going to firewire this boy to this boy. I just hit my head on my desk. We're going to firewire this boy to this boy. Okay, and then we're going to put the iMac in target disk mode and we are going to use the disk drive from the iMac to install XP natively on the MacBook. And if that fails, we're going to install XP again on the iMac, but over Firewire using target disk mode to this, which probably won't work because the drivers will be different. However, the first option should work. So as you can see, we're on the beautiful Windows XP wallpaper. This is what we want on the MacBook. Let's give it a go. So we are going to hit the start menu. We're going to go turn off computer. Yes, I was able to activate Windows. I was able to activate Windows XP. That is true. I am going to be doing the same thing on this. I'm going to be going through it all. That will probably be another episode because I have a feeling it's going to take another six weeks to install XP on this thing. But it's fine. doesn't matter. So we're just going to quickly go around the back here and uh, just kind of look. Right. So what do we got behind here? So we've got... A lot of dust, that's for sure. So we want to plug in to one of our fire wire. There we go. Look at that. Okay, we may as well power this on now and put it in straight to target this mode. And we're gonna just kind of shove it in, just kind of. No. Right. No, 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 no. Don't just boot. Don't just boot. What are you doing? Okay, good. We've got fire wire discs. Okay, windows. Let's hope. Let's hope this can read the Windows XP disk over Firewire. Because this, this will be our solution to eventually install Vista. This is what this is leading up to. We're, we're doing XP at the moment, but we are going to lead this up and install Vista eventually. Probably on a different partition. I may have to figure out some magic. When I install Windows on this, I'll probably partition it into two. So then we can do Vista. <gasps> Shut up. Shut up. No way. No way. No way. Get out. I knew. I knew. Ah, right. Okay. It's not the end of the world. There is another solution. As I presented a minute ago, it has a likelihood of not working. However, we do not give up on this channel. We, didn't, we never give up. Well, I mean, we did. We threw the old one in the bin. However, we don't give up. So we're going to power this off. And we're going to put the MacBook into target disk mode this time. Ignore the uh, Chuck E. Cheese plate in the background. That's uh, just, you know, courage. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Right, get this get this bad boy into target disk mode. Easy peasy. So now they're, target, they're going to target disk mode each other. It's going to be target disk mode deception. Here we go. Right. Okay. Okay. Now this doesn't need to be in target disk mode anymore. So we're just going to kind of shove that. Right. So... Yes, that's what we want. That's what we want. Oh, creaky, weird noises coming from. Ooh, I didn't like that sound. Why? Why? You were working two days ago. What? Don't, no, 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 no. Don't just stop working because I plugged the MacBook in. You do not just stop working because I plugged the MacBook in. Oh, come off it. Come off it. It's literally because I've got the MacBook plugged in, isn't it? If I, hang on. Oh no, no, it wouldn't detect anything off Firewire. No, of course I'm being an idiot. Right. 
I do not like the sound that's making. Just double check our disc. Our disc is fine. Like it's 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 a disc. It's fine. I have an idea. It's a terrible idea. But I have an idea. This is going to be my next crazy idea. We're going to boot into Macintosh HD. And we are going to try and clone the drive. Now that definitely will work in Mac OS. I do not know if it will work with a Windows XP install. But seeing as it's going to be running on pretty much the same hardware, I don't really see why it wouldn't work. Indexing. Don't index. I don't care. Don't do that. I want to go disk utility. MS-DOS. Untitled. Yes. Yes. Destination. Untitled. Restore. Erase. Please work. Please work. This is option two of three. Please. I knew that was... Ah! Okay. 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 What if... What if we straight up copy the files, right? I think it's shift, command... Okay, there's no option to show hidden files. What if we just copy this? Yeah? What if we just copy the whole thing? I don't know if that's going to work. Oh my goodness, is that the kind of copy speed we're getting over Firewire? Uh, let's just let's just close out of that. I do not want to carry on with that. That's going to be terrible. We'll be here literally all day. I'm just going to try. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to go back to I idea two. Because I, I don't know what ideas three and four actually are. Does it read this as a startup disk in here? That's the question. Yes! All right, select Windows on there as the startup disk. Right, now, if I shut down and turn it back on. Come on, show me that. Yes, 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 yes! So if we can then install Windows directly onto the MacBook over Firewire, it maybe, maybe my ish maybe work. I... Uh, it's a stretch. Okay, this is the screen I wanted to see. It's going to be this one, isn't it? Because that's boot camp. That's untitled. Right. We want to delete this partition. L. Install on there. Oh, what are you on about? What are you on about? What, what, what do you mean? Ah! I know, funny, isn't it? Look, I thought that was going to work. <laughs> what have I done to my spacebar? Okay, let's just let's just do an experiment here. See if we can launch Windows off of the IMAX hard drive. <sighs> okay, let's just cool it down, and we will try this again. Because clearly it has a problem. Because I thought I thought it all saw it as an internal drive, but clearly not. It sees Firewire as external as well. Okay, let's boot into C and let's try and boot it on the MacBook again. We're gonna go back to square one. S it, uh, no, 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 no. Just this just couldn't 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 get any worse. Just, just, just couldn't get any worse. Surely this has got to work. Right, the very wild plan has come about. We've got the Kingston SSD hooked up to the iMac externally. We've ripped it from the MacBook. <gasps> oh! Well, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that, but that makes no sense. Why, why was it? Why did it not work over fire? I don't know. Anyway, this is working now. Oh, this is brilliant. This could actually work. Huh? Huh? What's this? What's this? Why? Why, why, why is it doing that? Huh? Why is it doing that? And according to the disc, nothing's being read. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? If we don't press enter, when when the whole boot from CD thing comes up, maybe it works. Th this is one of the most frustrating, but this is worse than, the look at that. It's just, it spits it out again. Like this is one of the most genuinely frustrating things I've tried to do. 
Like, we, we were nearly there with the installation, but it just didn't work, which is a bit annoying. I'm gonna have to explore other options for this. And we, or we're just gonna have to move on to something else because we do have XP working on the iMac. Oh no, tell me it hasn't screwed up the existing XP installation I had. We'll get there, we'll get there. We're gonna do a third part of this where we will get this to work. Trust me, maybe. But yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Trust me, trust me. 